Sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. <laughs> it's good to see you, little bird. I'm so glad you're here. Is Sam with you? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You can shoot me, go one time off. We need to find them. No, wait, 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 what about Rolf? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Rolf. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, le uh, let me. These are fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh, they must be fantastic. This female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. This is Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance, shipwrecked on an island in the Dragon's Triangle, east of Japan. This place is incredible. I've seen wrecks here that could date back centuries. They went fast, and I know what they were. Something is right about this place. If I don't get off this island, maybe someone will eventually find this. Do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> that female figure on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko. Are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. But... Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <laughs> You still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! <laughs> 
I'm handling this. No! Just, just go along with them, Lara. Do it, do whatever they say. Dining a pistolet. Iti. Osha. Who are you people? What do you do that? Lara. If they give you any trouble, kill them. Don't hurt them, please. I said, silence, girl. Activate. Хорошенькая, да? Напоминаешь мою сестру. Don't you fucking move. Kill them all! Hey, bring up the prisoner! Yeah, I'm on it. Anything? I can't find it. She's gone. Keep looking. There, another one. God. This group is fighting. Then I can kill also. Keep an eye out. All right. Come out. Come out. What do you see? Uh, nothing. <laughs> no, I shall let him freeze. Check the hut. Kill the rest. Любишь играть я в прятки, малышка? Думаешь, удастся спастись? No one escapes. Out! Вылезай! Но трать моего времени! I always find him. Она тоже была порадочной стервой.
Another tanker? No. Looked like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. We got a crew towing it in now. Think we'll get any new recruits out of this bunch? Fuck, ah, man, I don't know. Better for them if they just die now. How'd you figure? Well, how long's the last batch been? What no. the hell? <laughs> What's going on down there? Everything okay? <laughs> Lada, are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh God, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I have no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try. Looks like a smaller group escaped into the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No, Father Mathias. Oh God! I need help!
When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. Worse than it is. Uh, Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food back. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, but you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. We're also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Don't do this to me, you northern bastard. Yeah, somewhere. 